Well, we thought, uh, as a lot of people thought uh, yesterday, that Australia might just run through those eight Pakistan wickets, but they didn't because of that man you just talked about, As Asad Shafiq. And uh, this is the man that we knew very little about, Michael Slater. Yeah, 51 test matches. That's a lot of test cricket. And it's his 10th hundred and probably one of his best because of the bowling he was facing. I was so impressed by the way he went about it. He found scoring zones and just the way he got around the gabber and came up with the right shots heels was unbelievable. So if we just start to have a look at what he did in terms of a scoring zone, I thought the most exciting strokes he played and the really cool method was playing through backward point. That was in the air at times, that was along the ground. There's a lot of singles in here and all these twos and threes, he was so busy between the uh, between the wickets and ran really well with Muhammad Amir when he was out there. An indication there were no full balls, balls from the Australians, but all these scoring zones, particularly through here, so strong. Yeah, so exactly. really impressed by he's that. Only a little bloke, and Australia certainly gave it to him at the body. And he didn't. They didn't give him a whole lot of width to play with. But uh, when they did, he he was certainly able to capitalise. And let's have a look at a few of those that you loved. Well, I think you don't have to be tall to take on good fast bowling because when you're a little bit shorter, you can play these shot so effectively you can get in and up and under them over point and the gabber is so good we talk about the trust in the bounce that's exactly what he was doing so there was nothing there to drive he was waiting for these scoring zones and ultimately he plays one along the ground and that brought up his hundred as i said i reckon this is probably the best hundred he's ever played because of he's away from home and he's also playing against great bowling yes on a bouncy wicket that uh, is not supposed to be that easy now the spin i mean these guys grow up with spin and facing uh spinners that yeah. really really do spin it even more than Lino has yeah. at the Gabba, but what do you make of his technique? Well, I love the fact he was dancing down, getting to the pitch of it, any flight, but he also has this killer sweep shot, and it makes it really hard for someone like Nathan Lyon to stay consistent, because any flight, any attempt to slow it down, all of a sudden he's back past himself, and then the sweep shot, so uh, it, it can hurt slow bowling but he found a method and it was really exciting to see and there's a really interesting stat heels at number six in the history of test cricket he's now scored the most hundreds sitting there and that's surpassing Sir Garfield Sobers. Sir Garfield so, Sobers. so how cool is that we didn't know much about him we certainly know a lot more now yeah there, there might be a push to get him up the order they're a little bit concerned about his ability against the new ball but he looks fine yeah oh he's a terrific player and who would have thought that we're talking about a chance for Pakistan I thought it'd be all over by yeah. now but no. that fighting innings has kept them in it. Well, good call.